The valley of the river Cherny Hron is waking up to another sunny day. Cherny Balog is a village situated in the heart of Slovakia, about 10 kilometers south of the town of Brezno. Originally, it was composed of 13 login settlements, and the more than 5,000 inhabitants call it by the nickname the United States Balotska. Logging and timber processing has always been the main source of livelihood for the people of Slovakia's mountains, and this also applies to the valley of the river Cierny Hron. While in the early days of mining, waterways were used for the conveying of timber from the valley, the idea for the construction of a forest railway became more and more relevant with the growing interest in high-quality wood from the area of Cierny Balok. The end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century was a turning point, when, like in many other parts of Slovakia, the development of the forest railways began as a method of transporting timber to sawmills and human settlements. Gradually, more than 70 such railways were developed in Slovakia. The railway in the Tierny Hron Valley has survived, thanks to the hard work of volunteers, and the massive closure of forest railways in the 1970s and 80s when thanks to the growth of road transport, the forest railways moved to the edge of interest. Nowadays it is the main tourist attraction of the region and it is sought after not only by visitors from Slovakia, but by people from other countries as well. Welcome to the Čiernohorská Forest Railway. Whether you travel to visit Cherny Hron Forestry Railway by car or by train, the first contact with the 760mm narrow gauge will be in Khvatimek. It's in Khvatimek where right off the main road, Route 66, the spacious parking and platform is situated, and from where your journey to the valley of the Cherny Hron continues with the historical train. There are also regular connections from Banske Bystrica, Margetsani, Bratislava and Košice to our forest railway. Come and join us on the slow ride on a historical steam train, where you can fully enjoy the beautiful scenery of the surrounding countryside even more in the open top coaches. After a short ride on the train, horses from the ranch of Cierny Hron, which is situated right next to the railway, will catch your attention. If you choose this place as your first stop, you can ride a horse or just have a closer look at the livestock and the way they coexisted with people in the past. Horses were indispensable helpers for people in their daily activities, such as hauling timber from the forest. The demand for wood from local forests grew until the traditional forms of wood transport, using the waterways, proved insufficient for the volume and reliability. This situation was the reason that the Ministry of Agriculture in Budapest gave an order to the director of the State Forest in Banske Bystrica to finance the development of the forest railway in the valley of Cherny Hron. Construction of the main section from Hronets to Cherny Bulch, later renamed Cherny Balog, a 10.4 km long track, started in 1908. Regular operation of the first section of the forest railway began in the following year. Other branches of the Cherny Hron railroads were built gradually with the help of prisoners from World War I and led to most of the valleys of the river Cherny Hron. The total length, reaching almost 132 kilometers, at the time of greatest fame it ensured transport to seven steam locomotives. For example, between the years 1953 to 1955, the Forest Railway transported 300,000 cubic meters of wood. In addition to wood, the railroad also transported the inhabitants of the valley of the river Cherny Hron. Today, thanks to the efforts of volunteers, there is over 20 kilometers of renovated track on which passenger service is provided to tourists and visitors to the region. The railway section from Cherny Balok to the Vidrovska Valley, reopened in the year 1992, was the first one that entered the history of the railway. In 1993, volunteers were working on the restoration to the full operation of another 
a 12-kilometer stretch from Balok to Hronets and Hvatimech. In the year 2012, thanks to funds of the European Union, another restored section of the railway line was reopened, from the station in Cierny Balok to the local area of Dobroč. Here, the Cierny Hron railway had an ambition to fulfill the role of a public transport in the village, where it spans more than 8 kilometers from the lower end to the upper part. The beauty of the local nature and fresh air in the forest surroundings, Cheney Balog can be enjoyed during walks. This valley offers miles of trails for tourists looking for routes with a light intensity and low elevation, suitable for families with children. Hikers can take trips in all seven villages of the micro-region Cheney Hron on the marked local tourist circuit. A trip to the rocky meandering streams, visiting the Cave of Dead Bats and the Bistrianska Cave. Cycling lovers there will find even more joy. Next to the forest railway track, from Hvatimech through Cierny Balok to the Vidrovska Valley, is a road where, on a large part of it, traffic is prohibited, giving cyclists undisturbed joy of the nature. The icing on the cake is the about 25 kilometers long Kamenista Valley. In the past, one of the branches of the Cierny Hron railway led through this valley to the village of Sihla, lying at an altitude of over 1,000 meters. The body line of the railway, in the form of embankments, cuttings and bridges over Kamenisti stream flowing through the valley, is still visible and can be admired while cycling on the road that stretches along the entire length of the valley, where the traffic is also prohibited. One of the undoubtedly interesting stops while cycling through the Kamenista valley is the Hronchok water reservoir. Built according to the plans of Josef Pausinger in 1881. The purpose of this reservoir was the need to capture water needed to transport the timber from the valley before the construction of the railway line that was built to move the wood. For biking trips you can also rent a bike in Cherny Balog. After 12 kilometers of a slow train ride, we'll get to Cherny Balog, the home of the Chernohorska railway. From here, you can continue to Dobroč, a part of Cierny Balok, where the track was reopened in the year 2012. From Cierny Balok, it is possible to continue via another branch of the railway line to Vidrovska Valley. The historical train will take you to the entrance gate of the Open Air Forest Museum. There, you can get carried away on a more than 3 km long educational trail that will take you through the mysteries of the history of forestry, cultivation, forest protection and the work of woodlanders on more than 60 stops. All stops include real, three-dimensional exhibits and information boards in English and Slovak. You can become familiar with the procedures and mechanisms used for logging from distant history or recent times. Visit a gamekeeper's house with museum or a natural amphitheater, where festivals of country music and other performances take place regularly. The Forest Museum is open all year round. In the year 1944, the forest railway had entered into the history of the Slovak National Uprising, when it secured supplies of food and ammunition for the guerrillas fighting in the mountains. It contributed significantly to the fact that the Germans never took Cierny Balok. 
If you're lucky, during the celebration of the anniversary of the Slovak National Uprising, you can meet guerrilla fighters near the forest railway and at least for a moment be taken back to the days when the railway played its important role in the battles of World War II. If you think that everything that the Chernihron Valley and its surroundings offer to its visitors cannot be seen in one day, it's not a problem. There are many possibilities for accommodation, from private accommodation through to stays in cottages or apartments to hotels in nearby town Bresno. Gluttons will come to its many restaurants and huts, which offer visitors Slovak specialities prepared according to traditional recipes. Dumplings with sheep cheese and bacon, pasties, smoked cheese and many other delicacies from mutton made from fresh ingredients, milk, cheese and sheep cheese from sheep grazing on the pastures of Hore Hronie, prepared well at Zboyska Hut, which is located in the national park Muran Plateau. Brigand Court also offers unusual accommodation in a real traditional hut, where you can fall asleep and wake up with bleating sheep, the neigh of horses and the barking of cattle dogs. Together with Wachalian, you can participate in the care of sheep and other animals, or in the production of cheese and smoked cheese. Just a few steps from Zboyska is another unique technical and a national historic landmark. The standard gauge cog railway of Bohronska Polhora, operating through Zboyska to Tisovets. The railway line, which started operating on November 3, 1896, has got the biggest climb up to 50 per mile, which means an elevation of 5 meters on every 100 meters in distance. The COG railway is unique on a European scale, because the operation on the route was provided by steam locomotives, which, in the track's steepest sections, used an apt rack system located between the tracks. Since the summer of 2014, it has reopened the operation of its authentic locomotive and passenger coaches from Pohronska Pohora through Zboyska to Tisovets. The season on the Chernohronska railway opens annually on the 1st of May and lasts until the end of September. During this period, the forest railway trains operate on the routes from Chernibalog to Khvatimek, Chernibalog to Vidrovo and Chernibalog to Dobroč daily, according to the timetable published on the website www.chz.sk. The operation is provided by historical coaches, which are pulled by motor or historical steam locomotives. The Chernihron Railway organizes a summer school for steam engine train drivers. And if you're interested, you can try to work on a steam locomotive on your own. You can give this experience or the train ride itself to your relatives as a present in the form of a gift voucher, which you can order on www.chz.sk. The forest railway has its incredible charm even during winter, when the St. Nicholas Day and New Year's Eve rides in the valley of the river Chernihron have become a popular attraction. Mulled wine and the smell of burning coal in the furnace of the steam locomotive we cannot explain with pictures, but the steam train going through the snowy valley is just like it's cut out from a fairy tale, as you can see here. On request, it is possible to travel not only during the high season, but also throughout the whole year. 
As we mentioned in our short film about the Černihron railway, there were a lot of similar forest railways in the past in Slovakia, which served to convey timber from the mountains to human settlements and sawmills. At the turn of the 1970s and 1980s, there was a rapid development of the automobile traffic, and wood gradually began to be loaded onto trucks. Conveying timber with forest railways became ineffective. So the government of the Slovak Socialist Republic decided to remove the forest railways from all around Slovakia. If the Čiernihron railway had followed the fate of other forest railways, it would have been eliminated in the year 1985. The operation of the last line sections of the Čiernihron railway was definitely stopped on December 31, 1982. At that time, it was the last forest railway in Slovakia. All equipment, rails, locomotives and carriages were destined for scrapping. Thanks to the dedication and personal courage of those who were able to stand up to the unreasonable bureaucratic decision of the government, this landmark was saved. They started a long fight and struggle to preserve the railway. The 1st of May 1992 became the solemn, long-awaited day of recovery of operation of the Čenihron Railway. That day, for the first time, the renewed steam train operated for tourists on the track route from Čenibalog to the Vidrovska Valley. A year later it ran around the main section from Čenibalog to Hronets, and we believe that the Čenihron Railway has permanently returned to the heart of the Slovak mountains. The staff on the Čiernihron Railway are looking forward to seeing you all in the heart of Slovakia, on the railway, which has rightly become a popular attraction for tourists, not only from Slovakia, but from Europe and the whole world. Your visit not only promotes the long-term efforts of volunteers working on the restoration of the forest railway, but also the development of tourism in the heart of the Slovak mountains. And finally, you can pay homage to the skills and wisdom of forest railway builders who built this unique landmark in such difficult mountainous terrain more than a hundred years ago. With the greeting, let the steam push it. We look forward to seeing you in the valley of the river Černihron. Goodbye.